because I know it's been obviously official for a little bit of time, but uh, first head coaching job with Garrett High School, just what's the excitement level for you to take over this program and to get your feet wet here in the, the coaching game at the high school level? Right, I'm ecstatic. I couldn't be more blessed to take this program over. Super excited to build it. Uh, super excited to build relationships with all the guys, all our admin um, have been great for me, being able to lean on them. So super excited for the opportunity and ready to get going. For you, what are your visions for, for this team, for this program? I know obviously it's, it's, a, it's a program that's had some pretty rich tradition, but has struggled here, you know, in the last decade or so. Right. You know, we talk about taking pride in what we do every day. Um, accomplishing what we need to do and we want a program that you know the community is proud of that the community comes out to watch and supports um, so it gives them something to be excited about and obviously haven't had a lot of success lately um, but just working every day trying to get to where we want to be I know obviously you look at your group uh, how do you feel about the team coming into the season uh, this first group that you do have coming in love them they come to work every day uh, they've been super um, being able to adapt really well, uh, been able to you know show up and we've hit it hard in the weight room, hit it hard on the court. Uh, Parker Reed has been a phenomenal leader for us, our senior. Um, he's done a great job of holding the guys accountable, being there every day, um, and really just proving everybody that you know he's a leader, which is a good good sign, as especially as my first year having someone that I can lean on, um, and he's been able to do that for us. I know obviously the, the summer gets kind of busy for you guys, but you know what is the focus here this summer for you guys heading into to the fall when the season starts here in November? Yeah, just being able to handle adversity is our biggest thing. Last year, super competitive, just didn't really handle adversity like we want. Um, so we preach that to our guys all the time is we got to be able to handle that. Uh, we got to be able to stop runs of you know, our opponents. And a lot of that just comes down to being in shape and being really good defensively. So those are our two main focuses uh, lately. Uh, obviously, just prioritizing controlling what you can control at the end of the day. For you, um, what kind of style can we expect out of your teams, out of your guys? Yeah. You know, what, what kind of basketball do you hope to play? Yeah, we hope to get up and down, hope to execute when we need to in the half court. But defensively, we just want to be relentless. Um, we want to be able to affect opponents, pressure them, take away middles, our big thing right now. Uh, obviously, being able to rebound the ball extremely well is a priority for us. Um, with being a little bit undersized, we've got to be able to rebound really well. I know, obviously, this is your first high school head coaching yeah. game, but you know, uh, stranger to the scene, to the scene here in the Summit City, you know, just uh, how do you think that background helps you, having been on a few different coaching, you know, staffs, and then also, you know, with your AAU experience as well. Yeah, I'm blessed with the kids I've coached. I want to be here without them, and obviously having a couple head coaches as my mentors have been extremely helpful. My best friend Brandon Dernell obviously has been a ton of help for me, uh, just being able to bounce ideas off of him, being able to have conversations about maybe what he would do. That's been extremely helpful and. Just super excited to, you know, to watch him grow and watch my mentors grow as I, you know, step into this journey as well with him.